the pine processionary moth. In the pine forests of southern Europe, one can often spot spherical basketball-sized nests of silk spun high in the branches. Closer inspection will reveal abundant caterpillar droppings and dried malted skins stuck in the silk and at the heart of the mass a cluster of hairy caterpillars that twitch their tails when disturbed. It's best to investigate with care as the hairs of these caterpillars can cause a nasty rash. These are the young of the pine processionary moth, so named because the caterpillars set out at night in single file, nose to tail, to walk to a fresh part of the tree to feed, returning to their nest before dawn. In the early 20th century, the French entomologist Jean-Henri Fabre conducted a famous experiment on the caterpillars, placing them on the rim of a flower pot around which they blindly circulated for seven days, each following the other so that they endlessly walked in circles. This study is often held up as an example of the foolishness of blindly following a leader, but it turns out that this is being a bit harsh on the moth. Attempts to replicate it suggest that the caterpillars only stay on the rim of the pot if it has slippery sides that they cannot grip, if they're induced to walk in a circle by containing them within a glass cylinder on a flat surface. Almost as soon as the cylinder is removed, the caterpillars sensibly break out of the circle and head off to pastures new. Thank you.